G'day and welcome back to the channel. On this leg of the trip we'll be hiking the popular Grand Canyon track in the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains is a landscape photographer's paradise. You could shoot here for a lifetime and still find something new each time. Here's a quick selection of my work from the last few decades. Now let's jump straight into our first scene, the crazy popular Grand Canyon hike. 6.3 kilometers of steep walls and lush forest. After several hours in the canyon, I chose to focus on one scene that really showed off the steep cliffs. It was then a question of waiting until I had the right combination of dramatic light, low wind and a gap in the steady stream of people. The next scene I'd like to share is the summit view from Pigeon House Mountain in the spectacular Morton National Park, southern New South Wales. The track is only 5 kilometres, but quite steep and involves some climbing of metal ladders onto a potentially very exposed cliff top. The summit, however, offers amazing views. I shot right through the gradual progression of dawn that started with blue magenta hues and eventually bathed the landscape in golden light providing contrast and depth to the many crests and ridgelines. Although it is possible to find some foreground rocks, this scene is really all about the distant view, so I chose to capture a panorama with a moderately long lens. We're at Nowra at Shoalhaven River and we're trying to shoot the sunset. 
just going down in this direction. And this little area here is called Hanging Rock. And we do have some cloud and it is coming towards us. So with a bit of luck, we will enter our scene. So now we've got some nice uh, cloud, but it's a little bit too high for the subject that I'm framing up, which is more like that. A difference a day makes so I've uh, come back to Nara and the Shoalhaven River and yeah uh, we don't have the terrible wind that we had last time instead we've got these uh, gorgeous storm clouds so hopefully they stick around and uh, really present uh, the scene here at sunset well you know what they say be careful what you wish for the storm has stuck around and it appears to be coming toward me. So I've got the uh, got the umbrella up here, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, yeah, we'll just sit it out, see what happens. So that's a bit of a, uh, a bonus tip. <laughs> Waiting until just after a storm has passed is often a very good way of uh, capturing some interesting and dramatic light. All right, well, what I really want is the light to reach past that little gap there. I don't think it's going to happen though. All right, so the light's, uh, the light's gone. There might be a bit of a twilight glow, but I doubt it. Uh, yeah, I'll probably end up using the shot just before sunset because it uh, it did feel a lot stronger I think and just to end the evening uh, the rain's back again still looks very nice though well we do have a bit of a twilight glow but I, I think the image was stronger before Feels very bright on the left now. Yeah, clouds aren't quite as nice as they were before. Anyway, I think I got something earlier, so we'll, we'll go with that. So we've come up to Namadgi National Park uh, near Canberra and I'm just framing up a, a wide 180 degree panorama from Barumba Rocks. I've got about an hour until sunset so I've got heaps of time. I've got the centre column up, I don't usually use the centre column but I need the height this time. So we got some nice golden light on the peaks there. And we're just about to lose said light. As you can see, it's just dipping behind the horizon. That's it for this video. If anyone would like a print, please visit my website. Your support is much appreciated. 
On the next episode, we'll be heading to Threadbow for some hiking up on Kosciuszko. Hopefully I'll catch you on that adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.